Yep. Yeah, 32 cents. Buck 70 later, Darren Manning heads into the 500 with just six career oval races under his belt. But is this former F1 test driver a rookie? We'll ask Darren Manning to sort that out for us when he joins us right after this. Game. You can't see that little shuffle they do during the commercial. Ganassi out, jerk the thing off him, and sit Manning down, plug the thing back in, and just like that, here he is. Darren Manning, welcome to the television show. It's nice to have you uh, here, even though you're a big star now on that other network. Uh, do me a favor, don't mention them by name, okay? Oh, I won't do, don't you worry. All right. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here, though. Yeah, well, we're glad to have you. You were out uh, tossing baseballs around today, being a big celebrity around Indy. Tell me about that. <laughs> Yeah, it was cool. Just uh, watched a bit of day off here in Indy uh, before we got up to do this media day here at the shop. We uh, I got to uh, watch a couple of innings, mess about with the boys in the uh, in the locker room, play a bit of ping pong with uh, with the catchers and that. So that was pretty cool. Building up interest in the in the race locally. <laughs> Two things I got to know. Uh, you've been over here a while now. I wonder if you have any stories about scaring the hell out of yourself or anybody else before you learned how to drive on the wrong side of the road. Was there any problem with that? <laughs> No, well, I've been I've been driving in Europe for quite a bit, so uh, I, I've learned pretty uh, pretty much all, all my uh, driving career that to drive on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> Second is the business of whether or not you're a rookie. It's your first time at Indy. It's your first time, uh, first year in the IRL, and sometimes mm -hmm. we hear, well, sure, he's a rookie, and then we hear, well, technically, technically, he's not. Can you clear that up for me? Well, I guess no, not really. Basically, <laughs> that's what I thought. It's as, much, it's as much a mystery to me as it is to everybody else. I mean, I'm not a rookie in the main series, I guess, because of my uh, the F1 testing and 3000 and uh, and Champ Cast experience that I had last year. And uh, but obviously, Indy's a different matter, uh, a bit more history, a bit more of a different kettle of fish. So uh, I guess the class of me as a rookie. So. Uh, but uh, I'll be still going for full out honors anyway. So are you are you eligible to be the Indy 500 Rookie of the Year? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. But not the championship. But, that's that's the thing. But not the IRL Rookie Championship. That's, that's what you're right, excluded yeah. from. Okay. Yes. Well, we just want to make sure you get something out of this for whatever it is you're about to achieve. You've uh, <laughs> and and getting to that. I mean, you've done three IRL races. You're clearly headed the right direction. You finished sixth, mm -hmm. fifth, and fourth. Are you thinking third at Indy to continue the string, or are you planning maybe we'll just skip no, a couple maybe, of steps here? Yeah, maybe maybe skip a couple of races. <laughs> <laughs> I had a uh, a couple of bl blockers out there maybe from the Andretti uh, Green Stable stopping me uh, stopping me get any further up the ladder at uh, Matagi, which I thought I probably could have stood a chance of winning, but. Uh, you never know. Indy will will jump a few. We'll t we'll we'll take that milk at the end of Indy away from anybody else. So don't there worry. You go. The last Brit to do that uh, was Graham Hill, almost 10 years before you were born. How big a deal is it to an upcoming Englishman to win this big traditional race in America? Is it a big deal to you? Yeah, it's it's massive. You know, it's 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 seen over there as uh, the biggest motor racing event in the world. You know, it's bigger than the British Grand Prix. Uh, uh, and, and the Le Mans 24 hours, which are the big races over there, I guess, and uh, yeah, and still, still watched uh, a great deal from any any up and coming driver. You know, obviously, you know Mansell coming over and uh, the likes mm -hmm. of Jackie Stewart, who are still still involved in racing. You know, they're, they're legends over there, and uh, hopefully, we can follow in their footsteps. You climbed a, a fairly traditional career ladder in Europe, all the way into Formula One as a test driver for BAR. Mm -hmm. uh, do you still have Formula One aspirations? Uh, well, the way I put it, really, you know, I'm, I'm with a great organisation here at, uh, at the Target Ganassi outfit, you know. So I would I would only put myself in a position to to get a Formula One drive if if it was with one of the top teams, basically. You know, uh, it's either it's either winning winning in a winning t team situation over here or midfield over there. I'd definitely always take the uh, the winning winning operation over here. So, but if one of those. Uh, if uh, one of those red cars give me a call, then I might take take I might take the call. <laughs> you 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 would talk to the Ferrari people. <laughs> yeah, well maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I've got Jeff on the line from uh, from Dallas, Texas. You're on the air, Jeff, with Darren Manning. Go ahead. Dad, you superstar. How are things going? <laughs> I know that voice. That's Jeff Harrison. How's it going? <laughs> How you doing, mate? <laughs> Pretty good. How does the Chip Canassi organization compare with the BAR team? 
Oh, ah. it's, uh, it's, it's, it's right up there, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's got the facility as you see here and obviously you've got a big one down in, uh, in Charlotte as well coming on, so uh, they're, they're right up there, they just haven't got the 400 employees that they've got there, that's the only, that's the only <laughs> difference, you know, they, they've still got the racing, uh, more of a racing uh, atmosphere here, you know, uh, the Formula One teams are, are huge and uh, maybe a little bit segregated from, from maybe their... Uh, outright job has been a racing team so uh, they, they've, they've got it pretty good here you know they've got they've got guys that have been here for maybe 13 years which is uh, which is great which obviously BAR didn't can't have because they've only been going for a few years but uh, maybe a bit more friendly and a bit less political as well which is always good so is uh, so is your teammate anywhere in the neighborhood are we gonna be able to talk to Dixon you think yeah he's right behind the camera right over there smiling at me now <laughs> all right well thank you very much for taking time i know that uh it, it's a privilege for us to be able to talk to a guy who's on another real you know real tv <laughs> network uh have a good time the rest of the month and good luck at the race okay Thanks. all right that's darren manning and next up we will have uh, scott dixon who should be uh, jumping into the hot seat